Hello, passionate Sailtic FC fans. This is Sailtic Central News, your exclusive source for Sailtic updates. Before we kick off, we appreciate the incredible support. If you love Sailtic, subscribe now, hit like, and let's build this community together. Now, on to the latest news, a warm welcome to new subscribers. Your support is crucial. Hail, hail! As the new Champions League format unfolds, Scottish champion Celtic find themselves in a strong position to progress to the playoff rounds. With seven points from four matches, they are ahead of some of Europe's giants, including Real Madrid and Bayern Munich. The hoops have earned their place among the elite, having secured victories over Slovan Bratislava and the formidable RB Leipzig, as well as holding their own against a relentless Atalanta side. The current form of Celtic has been a significant turnaround from their humbling defeat in Dortmund, a match that now feels more like an anomaly than a regular occurrence. Under Brendan Rodgers, the team has become a much more competitive force, capable of challenging the continent's best. The transformation has been evident, with Celtic becoming a true contender in the Champions League. A standout figure in this resurgence is Nicolas Kuhn. The 24-year-old German winger has emerged as the team's new talisman, shining brightly in Celtic's campaign. After a slow start following his £3 million move from Rapid Vienna in January, Kuhn has found his rhythm and is now central to the team's success, registering impressive numbers this season with 9 goals and 10 assists. Kuhn's rise has been nothing short of remarkable, particularly following a pre-season where he scored twice against Manchester City. His form has been a highlight for Celtic, especially given his ability to step up in the absence of Matt O'Reilly, offering both goals and creativity in equal measure. His performances have turned heads, with several Premier League clubs reportedly interested in the talented winger. Despite the inflated €10 million, Euros, £9 million valuation placed on Kuhn, which must be taken with a grain of salt, it's clear that his stock has risen sharply in just under a year at Celtic Park. Should the winger continue his ascent, Celtic could see a significant return on their investment, much like they did with former stars like O'Reilly and Hotter, who left for record fees in the past. While Kuhn has been a revelation, credit must also go to Rogers' predecessor, Angie Postacogla, for the acquisition of Alastair Johnston. Signed for £3.5 million in December 2022 during the World Cup, the Canadian right-back has quickly proven to be a bargain. His contributions have been vital, and his growing importance under Rodgers is undeniable, with Johnston now becoming a regular feature in the team's successes. Johnston's commitment and quality were clear from his debut in the Old Firm derby in January 2023, where he thrived despite the intense pressure. His influence has only grown since then, with a solid tally of goals and assists, and he has even worn the captain's armband in the absence of Callum McGregor. His consistent performances, especially his attacking runs, have made him a key player for Celtic, and his form has seen his value soar to 8.5 million euros, 7 million pounds. This, coupled with the partnership he has formed with Kuhn on the right flank, highlights Celtic's growing strength and the potential for future success both on and off the pitch. Before we proceed, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive all exclusive news about Celtic FC. Don't miss any details about your favourite team. It's extremely important for Celtic FC fans. The rumblings of Matt O'Reilly's potential return to Celtic have once again captured the imagination of fans and pundits alike. Following his high-profile £25 million move to Brighton and Hove Albion in August 2024, whispers around Scottish football have hinted that the hoops could make a move to bring the dynamic midfielder back to Parkhead. With Celtic's ongoing search for reinforcements in midfield and O'Reilly's growing influence, the possibility of a dream return is beginning to feel like more than just speculation. O'Reilly's time at Celtic from 2022 to 2024 was nothing short of spectacular. The English-born Danish international quickly became a fan favourite, impressing with his technical ability, vision, and knack for scoring crucial goals. His contributions were instrumental in Celtic's domestic dominance, helping secure three consecutive league titles, and in a memorable season, he was named Scottish Premiership Player of the Year. The midfielder's performances on the European stage further solidified his reputation as one of the brightest young talents in Scottish football. Despite his successful tenure with Celtic, O'Reilly's move to Brighton marked a new chapter in his career. 
However, his brief stint in the Premier League has been plagued by injury, following a challenging start in which he suffered an ankle setback. As O'Reilly works toward full recovery, many Celtic supporters are hoping the club will pounce on the opportunity to bring him back. The Hoops midfield has struggled with consistency in the early stages of the 2024-2025 season, creating an opening for a player of O'Reilly's calibre to return and bolster the squad. Sources close to the player have suggested that O'Reilly remains fond of his time at Celtic, where he forged strong relationships with teammates and the club's passionate fan base. His connection to the club's ethos, coupled with the chance to play in front of 60,000 fans at Parkhead once more, could make a return to Celtic Park incredibly appealing. The Hoops have the financial power and European prestige to convince Brighton to part ways with the midfielder, especially if O'Reilly's long-term fitness remains in question. Matt O'Reilly's skill set has always been the driving force behind his rise to prominence, and it's clear that his potential remains vast. A midfielder with exceptional vision, O'Reilly's ability to read the game is second to none. He effortlessly links up play, transitions from defence to attack with precision, and boasts an eye for a pass that sets him apart from many in his position. His range of passing, whether it's a quick, incisive ball through the lines or a sweeping long pass across the pitch, ensures he can control the tempo of a match and dictate play with ease. It's no wonder that during his time at Celtic, he became a key figure in Angie Postacogla's possession-based system. In addition to his technical prowess, O'Reilly's intelligence on the pitch is another standout feature. He's not just reactive, but anticipates the flow of the game before it happens, often positioning himself perfectly to break up opposition attacks or to capitalize on an opponent's mistake. This understanding of space and movement allows him to be a step ahead, making him an invaluable asset both defensively and offensively. His defensive contributions, often understated, are crucial in winning back possession and allowing his team to regain control in the middle of the park. O'Reilly's versatility also sets him apart from many other midfielders. While he's primarily known for his central role, he has the ability to play across various positions in midfield, offering managers tactical flexibility. Whether deployed in a deeper, more defensive role or as an advanced playmaker, his adaptability ensures he can thrive in various systems. This versatility would undoubtedly make him a perfect fit for Celtic's evolving needs, especially as the team looks to strengthen in the middle of the park during the upcoming window. The most exciting prospect, however, is O'Reilly's potential to continue developing. At just 24 years old, he is entering his prime, and his best years are undoubtedly ahead of him. Under the guidance of a manager like Brendan Rodgers, who knows how to nurture and enhance the talents of his players, O'Reilly could elevate his game to new heights. Fans can only dream of what a fully fit, firing O'Reilly could bring to Celtic's midfield, a player capable of both dominating games in Scotland and making a significant impact on the European stage once more. The anticipation of seeing him return to Celtic Park is building, and it's easy to see why many are hoping for a second spell of magic. As the January transfer window looms, Celtic's pursuit of O'Reilly promises to be one of the most intriguing storylines in Scottish football. With both the club and player clearly at crossroads, only time will tell whether O'Reilly's journey will take him back to the place where his career truly flourished. One thing is certain, the prospect of O'Reilly donning the Celtic jersey once again would be a dream come true for fans eager to see their club reign supreme once more. Hello, fan! Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, as it means a lot to Celtic FC. Also, share your opinion about the news in the comments below. See you in the next video.